You guys hop down from your tree and find that your cart has been totally ransacked. Your mom goes, Well, I guess that's it for material wealth. No, it isn't. You kids, you kids up there. Whoever took this stuff, show of hands, who took it? You all took it. You, you, you know what? You did. You did. You all took it. All right. Somebody, every, all of you, get all your best stuff and put it in this cart. One of the kids is brave enough to go, yeah, or what? Or else we're going to cover you in honey and we're going to bury you upside down in a mound of ants. You stole our stuff. Now we want stuff. Put stuff in the cart. The kids panic. They scatter in all directions. They bump into each other. They get nice things. They start putting it in your cart. It's not all the things that you had, but your cart is eventually full. All right, you've spared yourselves from ants today, but watch out. Yes, thank you, Lowry. Ants hide around every corner. All right, come on, guys, let's go. Horse Nosferus says, yeah. And just as soon as you guys get out in the road, you see the familiar lights of Bingo flying overhead. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, there they go, Paul. I don't know if I wanted to fight those kids anyway. They had those drugs on them. Yeah, that was just a dead sleep. Just like, boom, nothing. I do have to be honest, that was pretty impressive. One of those kids must have been an amazing chemist, because normally a poison like that would just kill you. The fact it put us all to sleep, and also worked on potato soup without killing a single one of us, is just pretty astronomical. Hey, well, wait a minute, why don't we capture that kid then? Yeah, Mom, wouldn't, wouldn't the Dark Lord be happy with the Super Alchemist kid instead of Bingle? Oh, what? I mean, can anyone do that back at home? That kind of alchemy? Oh, what is this quitter talk? You told the Dark Lord you were going to capture Bingle. What's he going to say if you show up with some other kid? How's he going to know the difference between kids, Ma? He doesn't even know what Bingle looks like. The Dark Lord would calm down after he takes the type of drugs the kid would make. Do you seriously trust one of these little revolutionary pubes to make medicine for the Dark Lord? No, no, you said you were going to catch Bingle. Come on. But he's getting away again, Ma. Well, then catch him and he wouldn't be getting away. Bingle was headed south along the roads. <sighs> all right, all right, come on. Yep. As usual, once Bingle gets ahead of you, he gets pretty far ahead of you pretty quick. You find he's going south, south, south towards the Earth Nation. This time, he's likely actually resuming his training to become an Earth Master. The Earth Nation is very large, but also very, very desert. It's surrounded on most sides by mountains. A lot of people live in the mountains. There are, however, a few fertile zones beyond the mountains, and that's where a lot of bigger civilization is settled. That's also where the capital of the Earth Nation is. They don't have many enemies because most enemies don't want to cross the mountains and then the desert in Earth Nation territory because they'll get obliterated by earthbenders in inhospitable terrain. It would be fine if Bingle stopped in the mountains, but unfortunately you hear rumors of the lights proceeding even further southward, which means you have to stop and stock up on water and other supplies before going into the desert. Luckily, people are charmed by your Water Nation trinkets. They're willing to give you pretty high prices for it, and you come away with more stuff than you went in with. Oh. Huh. Is this why people do traveling caravans? Is this like a profitable enterprise you could live on? I guess if this bingle thing falls through, we could always be merchants. Horse noceruses are also tough and hardy creatures, and they'll do the job well enough. Off into the desert you go, towards the main capital city. Anyway, along one of your stops, someone asks you, Why y'all going to the capital? Ah, you know, just visiting family. I got a little cousin. Oh, well, in that case, you ought to take your little cousin to go see the ultimate earth fighting championship. The Ultimate Earth Fighter Championship. Yeah, the UEF for short. They do a big competition where all the best earthbenders get together and then kick each other's butts. What's well, a lot of fun. <sighs> all right, sir, thanks. Yeah, we'll definitely check it out. Bingle's gonna try to get a master from there. I mean, he's, what, 12? He probably thinks that's the coolest thing in the world. It is the coolest thing in the world. We gotta go see it. Your mother says, you don't know for sure he's gonna go see the Earth Championship. But the Bingle lights are definitely going towards the capital. When you finally arrive, you see posters for the UEF everywhere. Well, here we are, gentlemen. Glorious Earth Nation capital, home of the UEF. Well, maybe Pingle just joined a class, Paul. You don't know for sure. With what money, Lowry? Well, how does there being a UEF... I mean, what does money have to do with it? Because... You know what? Actually, that's a good point. Let's see if you have to pay just to watch the show. Ah, well, all the posters just say, coming up, and it gives the date. Doesn't say where to buy tickets. Okay, grab someone off the street. Excuse me, sir... How exactly do I get into this show? The guy looks at it, he goes, Ah, oh, that? Yeah, you just show up, there's no admission fee. So, so you have this giant city-wide thing that people from outside the city know about it's so big, and there's no ticket fee. Well, heck, you couldn't sell tickets. I mean, the thing takes up most of the city. There's just wrestling ring after wrestling ring. You're, you're kidding. Nope. But if you're talking about getting tickets to the main event, that's something you do have to buy. So wait, let me get this straight. You just have open-air street fighting? And then it's earthbenders tearing up the streets? Yeah, there's rules and stuff. 
Like, the winner's got to put the street back the way it was. Loser may not have too many teeth and might not be awake afterwards, so, you know, it's not on him. Guys, the Earth Nation sounds cool. All right, explain the rules to me. So here's how it goes. You pick a fight with somebody, and then you call over a judge. Soon as you get a judge, you start throwing Earth. Winner gets a little dot painted on him. But how does anyone know it's an official dot? Well, that's kind of the thing. I mean, you want to be honest about it, because if you break the rules, you're going to have to fight in the main event with the big guys. Yeah, but I mean, people definitely break the rules in that case, right? Yeah, but then they're in the ring with the big guys. And if you can't fight with the big guys, they'll mess you up. So, seems fair to me. Okay, how many dots do the big guys have on them? Well, typically, I mean, the guys who compete in the main event, if you already did it once, you're grandfathered in. You get to do the main event again next year. But the guys on the outside, I'd say like, you know, three or four. Like, the whole thing lasts about a week. And if you can do three or four fights and still feel up to doing another one in the big ring, well, I mean, you're welcome to. All right, guys, huddle up. I got a brilliant idea. We beat up Earth peoples. Exactly. Well, I mean, we could. I mean, really, we could just paint dots on Lowry and say that he did. No one's going to know the difference. That does seem like the obvious loophole the system is leaving. I should also point out that it's allowed to gamble on yourself and on other people during this event. And also, when you go to the main event, you need a judge to vouch for you, or otherwise you have to enter in the free-for-all. Okay, which is? Uh, everybody who didn't get a vouching just gets to fight everybody. That's why you want to have two or three or four, because you want to make sure that at least one judge remembers having seen you. Bet big on one battle, win it, then bribe a judge to say that he saw us win. That's how most of them do it, I reckon, yeah. The Earth Nation is so cool. Dark Nation could learn from this. We could be more like this. Lowry, you prepared to lie, cheat, and steal for the sake of your nation? I guess. Good, that's what I want to hear. When's this thing starting? Oh, tomorrow. Wait, why do we need three or four dots? Well, you have to be within one or two more dots of all the other applicants or they throw you out. Okay, but Bingo won't be able to pay for the main event. I... unless Sasha pays her way in. Fella, where are the judges gonna be? Can we follow them around? Oh, they'll come out from the Imperial Palace at the start of the event. In fact, that's how most people find all the fights. If you follow the judges, then that's where all the fights are gonna be. People run around behind them like a big parade, banging gongs and yelling and having all kinds of fun. All right, guys, we got it! Follow around the judges, we'll find where the fights are. One of those is probably gonna be Sasha or Bingo, I guarantee. Then we found him, and we'll work from there. So I don't need to fight? Well, my friend, if you beat up Sasha, though she is a little girl, then she'll have no choice but to try to look for a proper earthbender that isn't herself. Won't she be mad that I beat her up? I don't know, but I'll be happy. Yeah, can we change disguises and you can beat her up like three or four times? Gosh, she's like 14 years old. They can be annoying when they're 14. It's not illegal to say that. It's not illegal to think that. It's not illegal to beat them up. Actually, it kinda is. Not tomorrow. Okay, fair point. Thank you, sir. I hope you have a wonderful time tomorrow. We definitely will. Sure, fellas. Have a good time beating up that child you're rambling about. Thank you, we will. All right, you guys retire to the carriage. And at the stroke of dawn, you start to hear gongs. People are assembling by the palace gates. Bong, 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 bong. Firecrackers are going off. It's tons of excitement. Everybody's really jazzed. You have a hard time getting in there. The gates swing open. The emperor stands before the crowd. He announces... Let the UEF begin! Fireworks go up, more gongs, people are beating pots of pans, and the judges file out into the streets. Immediately, people start picking fights. A lot of them are fast and brutal, as you imagine Earth fights would be. They're just throwing tons of rock at each other, and it doesn't take much to destroy a person's body with a ton of rock. Winners are announced quickly, and then you see her. There she is, Sasha, with Bingle right next to her. She throws her hand up to volunteer. Ooh, me, me, me! You guys work your way in, all wearing false mustaches, I assume, including potato soup. Especially potato soup. Right, he's he's got an easy-to-recognize profile. Anyway. All right, Lowry, keep an eye on her. As soon as she's done with this, you challenge her next. Well, Sasha goes up there. She strikes what she believes is a defensive stance, but you guys, being experienced benders, know that she has no idea what she's doing. She's off balance. She doesn't really know where she is. She's flat-footed. Uh, the guy, apart from her, also doesn't look very talented, but he is bigger. He summons up some earth, sweeps her legs out from underneath her, and then buries her. The guy gets a little dot of paint while Bingle helps Sasha out from the rubble. Sir, Mr. Judge, my friend would like to challenge that girl. Huh? Oh, no, 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 we're, we're just kidding, we're just kidding. Sorry, so we're just kidding. Go ahead and walk up to Bingle and Sasha. Oh, that was tough luck. He got you with a cheap shot, didn't he? Sasha, rubbing her head, goes, oh my god, did he? Oh, I thought he did. I knew he did. That guy's a cheater. 
Yeah, you could see it a mile away, but there's no rules for these competitions, you know. Finkel goes, don't worry, Sasha. I'll get her. I volunteer to fight that guy. The other guy goes, what, the kid? And Bingle goes, why, you scared? The guy kind of looks around. He goes, no, I'm not scared. All right, bring it on, kid. So Bingle assumes a stance that would be typical of a waterbender or possibly a lightbender and then kind of overwhelms the guy with a really bizarre and out-of-the-norm earthbending technique. He creates kind of like a wave of earth that then snaps up suddenly and unexpectedly at the end. The guy is knocked out and then Bingle gets a little dot. He turns around, he goes, did you see that, Sasha? I did it. Sasha kind of mumbles. She goes, yeah, not all of us are some kind of earthbending savant, I guess. Bingle kind of frowns and looks angry. That was pretty good, kid. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad that somebody thinks so. You're both pretty good, though, to be honest. Bingle says, hey, wait a minute. You look really familiar. Ah, uh, yeah, we've been around these parts before. You've probably seen our posters. My good friend here, La uh, Lawrence, is uh, actually one of the premier earthbenders around the parts. He hasn't quite gotten into the competition to win it yet, but, you know, he's, he's definitely gotten real close. And we think we're going to go all the way this year. Ah, uh, really? No way. Oh, but I don't see he has any dots yet. Well, the competition has just started. Hey, I know. How about Sasha challenges our friend Lawrence, and then he beats her up and he gets a dot? Sasha, who looks like she's still hurting, goes, what? No way. Fat chance. Bingle goes, I'll fight him. Okay. All right, don't go easy on me just because I'm a kid. I'm going to kick your butt, kid. I am going to grind you up and down the pavement. Okay. Uh, good trash talk. I will kick your butt so hard and so fast it will launch you back in time. You will land in front of your own mother and then apologize for being such an incredible disappointment. Dang. You are really good at the trash talk. You're trash. You're trash. All right, champ. Okay, let's save it for the ring. Okay. Larry over there. Excuse me, judge. Could we have another fight between the previous winner and my boy here? The judge comes over and he goes, All right, I want a dirty fight, Earthbender style. Let's go. He pounds his hands down. Larry, you're up. All right, stomp my feet, earth armor up. Bump, bump, you are now wearing body armor made out of solid earth. Bingle goes, Oh, that's super cool. Can you still move around like that? He kicks up a pellet of earth and then shoves it out at you, which actually bounces off of your earth armor. Shut up, kid. Skate at him and then tackle him. All right, you perform a move through. You hit Bingle dead on. Uh, he stumbles backwards and kind of rolls over. Uh, oh, ow. Oh, he gets to his feet. He goes, okay, all right, I told you not to take it easy on me. He tries to pull that same move on you he just did. It comes out slow at first, like a wave of block, earth. abort to block. Okay, and then before it snaps out to hit you on the chin, you slam your hand down and push the wave the other way. Bingle goes from looking happy to looking concerned. You are in my house, child. Bingle goes, I concede. The entire crowd goes, ah, oh, oh. everyone looks upset. Concede? Yeah, that was my one good move. Uh, if you can stop it like that, I got nothing. Oh, come on. The judge goes, young boy, are you sure you'd like to concede? And Bingle goes, yeah, yeah, I know when I've lost. The judge says, very well, the young boy loses. Come and get your dot, good sir. Oh, come on, kid. You're not going to learn anything if you just give up like that. Bingle goes, maybe, but I also won't get a concussion or brain damage like Sasha. Sasha goes, shut up, Bingle. And he goes, what? I'm just saying, you got hit in the head. Besides, I'm not here to prove that I'm a really good Earthmaster. I was hoping to find someone who was, who also maybe had a lot of free time and wouldn't ask for too much money to train me. I don't suppose that would be you guys. Why would that be us? We're going to the top. Oh, well, I mean, I heard about the competition, and right, you earn the money by betting your money on yourself. So maybe you guys wouldn't have a lot of money and, like... You'd be willing to train me and then bet on me to win? Ah, uh, kid, it takes years and years of training to become an Earth Master on the level of Lowry here, Lawrence here. You'll never make it in just a short amount of time. Oh, oh no, sir. I'm actually a really fast learner. Like, really fast. It's crazy fast. I'll learn in just a couple of weeks. You'll see. I promise. That's impossible. Nobody learns that fast. Yeah, except for that weird savant kid everyone keeps talking about. Oh, wow. News gets around really fast. That's me! No, it isn't. Prove it. Bingle pulls water out of a canteen, swirls it around, and then creates a disco ball with it. Then he puts it back in his canteen. See? Light mastery and water mastery. I'm the savant kid. Wow. You're the savant kid that people obviously know about around here, Elvis-ton? elvis -ton? Some word's been getting around, probably. We'd still prefer it if you could pay us. Ah, uh, well, we kind of bet all of our money on Sasha just now. You bet all the money on the girl? <laughs> really? She goes, hey, don't laugh. 
Pingle goes, yeah, I, I really thought she'd win. Well, look, kid, you're young. I think I could take pity on you. I, I mean, you know what? What the heck? We'll train you for free, sure. You're going to have to travel with us, but but sure. Oh, well, I mean, I haven't decided. I still have to see some of the other Earthbenders and stuff. I mean, I'm going to watch you guys, though. I'm really excited to see you travel through the ranks. I bet you're going to beat practically everybody here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were totally planning on fighting everybody, weren't we, Paul, Lena? Yes, Lawrence, we were. We were going to fight everybody. It's going to be a lot of work, isn't it? So much work. So much work that you're ready for, aren't you, though, Lawrence? If it'll prove I'm a great Earthmaster, then yeah. I may also be looking for a training space with a little bit less toxicity, uh, but we'll see. Oh, that's normal. I mean, hey, we're fighters. We fight all the time. Right, Larry? That's how we get good at fight. Verbal sparring yeah, is yeah, a thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't wait to see what kind of guys you have to beat up. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs>